Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Tree Brewing. I'm pretty sure I've had stuff from Tree Brewing. Didn't they used to have, like, the um, 650 milliliter bomber bottles with, the like, the paint on the bottles? This is Craneberry. And Craneberry is a cranberry orange sour at 5.4% alcohol by volume. And Tree Brewing is in Vancouver, British Columbia. This contains malted barley and wheat. Drink, beer, plant trees, feel good. Partial proceeds from every beer we make go towards planting trees. So drink up, you thirsty little tree hugger. Okay, so this is one that uh, Beer for Breakfast would like because it tells you the type of hops and everything that they've used. So we have hops are Citra. Okay, that's all the, the other stuff I don't care about because I want to make my own decision on that. Okay. But it's Citra Hops in this. Uh, citra Hops, some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, I have loved and hated them depending on what they were in and how they were used. Okay, on here it says that the appearance is a filtered purple color. I don't know where you went to school. That is not a purple color. And if my wife was closer to me, I would ask her if that was a purple color. But she is not. To me, that's brass, like unpolished brass, or sort of starting like the burnt orange slash amber that is not purple the can is a purple color they do not match it, it matches closer to the tree than the purple but yes it says filtered purple color and again it is filtered i can see through it it is not purple now to give me what you call a cranberry, orange sour. The color is probably right. I mean, orange juice is orange. Cranberry juice is kind of a reddish color. So the two of them mixed together would probably come out pretty similar to this. The head is gone now, but there is still the line of it. You can't see it very well because the gold rim of the glass is where the head's hitting. It does have staying power. That is great. We will put the glass down here because I don't want to knock it over and spill it all over my computer. Oh, and then I almost spilt it all over my computer. Sent out of the can. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Oh, that smells like orange juice with a little bit of tartness. And I mean, the I don't know if any of you have had an actual cranberry. We're not talking you bought a can of cranberry sauce or you bought cranberry juice. Ocean Spray cranberry juice is a lie. It's a lie, okay? If you have not bought a fresh cranberry and ate a fresh cranberry, you have been lied to your whole life. Cranberries are, are bitter. They are, they are more bitter than hops. Like, they are bitter. They are gross to me. Gross. This smells amazing. This smells like orange juice. Oh, it smells like fresh squeezed orange juice with a little bit of tartness. Oh my lord. Now out of the glass. We gotta be careful here not to spill. And not to suck it up my nose. Out of the glass, you don't really get much. But I do have it filled to the brim. Slanche. Slanche. 
Okay, so the smell reminds me of Orange Mungus from Flying Monkeys, which is a 10 out of 10 beer for me. Orange Mungus is amazing. The taste reminds me of a slightly bitter version of McDonald's orange drink. You ever go to like an event or a sporting event or something and you had that giant container of McDonald's orange drink? Because I mean, I did. We had the orange drink at a rugby game once. Oh, it was nice. And I mean, this tastes like the orange drink. It really does. It has that super sweet orange flavor, which could be natural or could be fake because it doesn't really tell me on the can that they actually use what they say they used. And if this tree brewing is the tree brewing I'm thinking it is, I mean, the symbol would be a little different and all that, but there was a tree brewing that I've had from BC, I'm pretty sure, that had big hand-painted bottles back five, ten years ago. Then they usually did go natural, but if you're using cranberries as well in there, this that would make sense that it would have that like bitterness to it as well because cranberries are bitter. They're so fucking bitter. They're as bitter as my wife. See, she's down here with me, so I stopped to see if she says anything, but she's ignoring me. She doesn't like me. It's lighter bodied, but it's it's approaching medium bodied. Carbonation is there, though it's it's minuscule. It's like it's like Molson M in their micro bubbles. And then it's orange drank, bitterness, and then clean. This is a really nice beer. This is a beer I could drink more than one of. This is a beer I could see myself buy again. This is a beer I'm excited about. This is a beer I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Bye-bye.